Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Now, this is what I got, guys. A uh, hundred pound pressure washer, Ava Go. This is Ava is probably most the most cheapest pressure washer you can get. But the hundred, it's a hundred pound, but it's been refurbished. So normally, brand new ones are one hundred and fifty. I'd go very expensive. Get the three hundred pound ones, or I'd go very cheap. So because it's a hundred pound, even if it serves me like two years. I'm very fine with that. It's not perhaps a dedicated review of it, but it's more like how I would use it on the car myself. I have access to electricity from my house, so that's kind of cool. That's why I'm using this extension lead, which is more than enough. And I'm using the Works HydroShot connector, connector uh, which fits here as well. You just have to plug this one in here i don't always review products straight away give you all the details at once i kind of spread it out throughout the video like it's refurbished so it means some, it's been used or slightly used there are different grades to it I have a two-year warranty 120 bar pressure washer which i think 100 anything above 100 bar for me is more than enough uh you don't really need more to be honest the chemicals we're going to use today got surfix hd for the wheels the wheel arches diluted one to ten we're going to use for the pre-wash next touchless i put about 120 mils that's 60 mil per one liter i figure out that works the best for me um the car's not that dirty now we're going to use rinseless wash afterwards we're not going to rinse the soap instead we're just going to do the contact wash and then pick up all the leftover water with our uh, drying towel and the, they have four mitts in here soaked in multi-mitt method this is pretty much a very conservative setup of chemicals so we have this connected to our cord we have power now i'm going to connect the works hydroshot connector straight into the pressure washer now we secured it we turn it on this pressure wash has a self-priming feature, which basically means it can take water from any kind of tank. However, the pressure might not come out at 100% at its full best, but it's efficient enough. So this is my casual agitation. I do the wheel arches, tires, and wheels themselves. So I'll rest the lens on this pad. Less scratches on your handle. What's cool about the AVA attachment, the single attachment can give you three options in terms of water spread at wider angle, lower pressure, and uh, higher pressure, lower angle of water spread than what I'm using right now. Meaning that you don't really need to change your nozzles. Our pressure really has a massive play is on the wheel arches as you can see these are not too bad but they still need some kind of a blast so I'm gonna do it right now so in terms of noise guys it is quite noisy compared to works hydro shot a works hydro shots had like 56 decibels and this one has like 96 so it's a bit louder it works very smooth I wouldn't say there's a lot of vibration coming out of it and it gives you an impression of a high quality machine confident with the water usage here uh, I'm gonna carry on with the wheels and I'm just gonna do the pre-wash so now we're going to do a pre-wash I'm gonna spray all the car and the other thing is five meter hose it can get me around the whole car although I have to be very careful with it I need to move the pressure washer itself so here we go try to work a little bit quicker here guys uh, because there's direct sunlight it's not boiling hot, however, I want to rinse off the solution as quick as possible. So when it comes to rinsing off all of the soap that I put on the car, which is touchless, I really use the wider angle uh, water sp spread. Um, it's very efficient. There's enough pressure for me to rinse off the soap as it is not a snow foam. Uh, it's a lot easier to rinse off and I'm using far lesser water. So, so far, I would say I used just over 10 liters of water on the wheels and the wheel arches. And to do the pre-wash, I probably used around 10 or over 10. So in total, 20 to 25 liters of water I've used for the whole wash.
Uh, this was very quick. The car's clean now. We can do the contact wash. But as you can see, guys, I'm honestly not going to lie. I used 20 liters of water. And I was a lot quicker than with the works hydro shot. But in these kind of conditions, quickness is very important. Because I live in a condo. I don't have the luxury to spend that much water and time. And plus all the noises that I make that might disturb the people. Now we're going to proceed with the contact wash top to bottom. The car is already very clean. Pretty much it doesn't matter what kind of soap you use. Finished with the car guys, just got it detailed a bit in the exterior, touched up the wheels, tires, paint a little, didn't touch up the windows, couldn't be bothered, did the interior. I just want to show you a comparison. This is a works hydro shot, how small it is, how mobile this unit is compared to this. And look how much space this thing takes compared to this one. There is a difference, but they both can be run through. They both can take water for a tank, but this is a lot more versatile, compact. I would recommend using this over that for anybody who lives in a condo like me, because you only need to wash your car and the whole process that I showed you today, you only need that and that. Now, here's the difference, the massive difference. I will spend less time cleaning with that than with this. This will require you to rinse the car thoroughly. You need to work on very small section, even to rinse off the chemical that I put today. This one rinse, rinse it all off within a couple of seconds, probably twice as quick. That pressure gives you a, a lot of um, speed. Now, and as well, I wanna, what I want to say is, use the same amount of water to do the whole wash i probably put about less than 25 liters about 20 liters i put i didn't fill it up the tank completely it's up to you what you want to use price wise they're actually about the same although i got this one cheaper for 100 pounds but if you're uh, restricted in electricity and water i would use this setup all day long and i will not laugh at you if you use it thank you for watching everyone and i'll catch you in my next videos